Shout out to the Sage babies. I'm about to make breakfast for the other three. This one just ate again. Wish me luck. So for the astrology girlies, right? I've been seeing a lot of dressing for your Venus sign. You guys know I'm a Taurus, so I'm already ruled in Venus. So, you know, we're ruled by love, beauty, all that. That's why I'm just so beautiful, you know. <laughs> but if you dress for your Venus sign, it helps with your confidence and feeling good and all that stuff. So my Venus sign is in Cancer and I, I've been looking into it. It embodies femininity, softness, colors like silver and... Okay, she's good i'm thinking about getting rid of more clothes because i'm honestly not even using them at this point the clothes that i have out is the clothes that i use the most so it's like i'm like this close to like dyeing my hair i really want to dye it but i'm still trying to find a color that i like so stay tuned for that i'm definitely going to be doing that after my quarantine ends which is my quarantena because i can't um wash my hair or anything for 40 days yeah my hair is disgusting but luckily though like my i don't have like dandruff like my hair doesn't really form all that i think what happens with my hair if i don't wash it or do anything to it it gets really thick and just matted the more it goes the nappier it gets also i'm still sick this is like a weekly vlog at this point being sick and breastfeeding is like <coughs> And I barely get sick, so I feel like when I get sick, I get the worst coughs in the world. Like, they sound so disgusting, and they don't want to stop. I'm trying to get better. A lot of Vapo, Vicks, cough drops. But it's not really doing anything. And tea, but it's not really doing anything. I might have to buy some ginger and make that, like, really strong tea, because this is not working. I do remember I had got prescribed these pills for cough. But I have to look them up and see if it's safe for breastfeeding because now nothing is safe for breastfeeding. You cannot take nothing but Tylenol and like ibuprofen. And it's like, what is that going to do? So I have to look up which one kind of helps the most with coffee. I think it's Tylenol because I was looking on TikTok through like other like OB nurses like type of channels and stuff. And a lot of them have acetaminophen, which is Tylenol. So my heater is being fixed and it has been leaking so bad and apparently since my bed is right next to the heater every single item that is under that bed it is drenched so now i have to do the biggest laundry session in the world and it's like it wouldn't it like start to mold like eventually so i think like if you leave something wet there for too long it's like that mildew oh. So I won't be able to even look through my clothes that's down there until I wash them. I also want to change the room up again. I know. I've been doing this so much. It's just like, that's how my brain works. My brain is like that. I like constant changes <laughs> in my environment only. I wish I had the energy to paint the room because this wall, little small wall right here i want to draw on this wall and like do like a really big mural mine's probably gonna be like no because you know housing and stuff but i think it'll be really cool and i need to release some artistic expression and i don't have no canvases today's friday so bay should be coming over and we should be filming a really fun video this weekend so i'm excited about that i still want to have a chat about like femininity 
because it's been on my mind a lot I guess as you get older and stuff the conversation has to be had about becoming and flourishing into a woman and like things that come with that so there's definitely gonna be a talk about that soon one of my cousins gifted me a sterilizer steam sterilizer and dryer so i figured it was the perfect time to use it because i am about to like wash some bottles for my pumping stuff because i have not done that in a while i haven't really been pumping or anything i've just been like breastfeeding but i figured why not try it out <laughs> I just realized I never told you guys about the um, sterilizer. I love it. Tens. I love it. Sterilizer dries and sterilizes it in like storage mode for like 24 hours. It's really good. I recommend it. Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Battle of the Blondes. Because it's Christmas Eve and it's the twins' birthday. I want to get cute. For these past couple days, I've been sick. I've been filming a little bit of content here and there. You might see that, you might not. We did a little holiday photo shoot for her for her one month. I have to go buy presents, but I have not gotten ready yet. So I need to hurry up and I need to get somewhat decent because my hair is so disgusting under here. I have a short blonde hair. The problem with this, it's very thin. So the back, you can see like the literal tracks. So I'm gonna have to wear a scarf with this or like something cute, you know, like do like a little moment. It kind of has like the red and the green and the black. So I can do a vibe. We have a simple bang and it's like blonde and silver, which I'm leaning more towards because it's easy. All you have to do is brush it. It is long. It's a little bit messed up, but it's long. It's got some curls to it and has a bang. So this is the easiest one because I don't have to do too much. This is giving noodles. So I don't think I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'm going to go do these braids real quick and I'm going to come back because... Inflation is real. It's really real. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna leave this on for like, I guess, 10 minutes. just to kind of hold it in place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the lace, spray the lace again, and then leave it on for like an hour. Ban for an hour. But I love the hair though, I'm not gonna lie. The hair is so cute. It looks long. This is 
after already the 10 minutes and it's somewhat secure but the edges still need to be you know as you can see there's definitely a more natural hairline going on now i just kind of plucked all types of crazy i'm not even gonna lie to you like i don't want to over spray it so i'm just gonna put it on my finger like this and i'm just gonna slowly like just pat it in and i like to do it down because i feel like that way it kind of flattens out more if that makes sense I think because since I don't have a, a wig cap under, it's not really showing. All I did was powder the lace a little bit, but I don't have like my usual products to like really make the lace pop, but it's fine because what I'll just do is I'll try to find like an act, like a, a style that I really like, and then I'll just go in with the powder manually and just like put some in there. I want it to look really natural. I don't want it to look too... too clean you know i just want it to look like scalp so you see this one's so good her baby breath but yeah like i feel like the powder helps it look way more natural than like using like a concealer or foundation i use foundation when i really want the line to look crispy but it depends on how i'm feeling but right now i want to go for like a very natural like this is my hair babes you know what i'm trying to say so i definitely like using the ruby kisses because ever since i've been using that like it really makes a difference honestly so Today. I'm trying to fix this for her. So the piece that's here, whatever they're supposed to cover. The uh, supposedly Miracle popped the side of it so it's a little open and it's let out some of the fluid from it. So mm. I'm attempting to close it or whatever. This is my second attempt. <laughs> I wanted to come on here and kind of just talk about like New Year's resolutions out loud, I guess. Honestly, one thing I definitely want to start doing is being a little bit more selfish. Like 2023 really taught me that I'm very selfless. And I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I just feel like I need to put some importance. Also, just like diving back into makeup, like my art, in a way that I enjoy. I don't like the cycle of pressure that's starting to brew so much where everything feels like i need to do this now i need to do this now i need to post this and i need to do this and it just like it kills that creativity and i feel like that's just like an ongoing struggle when you decide to be an artist to be a creative person i like to express i like to make art i like to turn myself into crazy things and i like to just show people that i can be all these different things like I always say, I want to be like the next Johnny Depp, you know, like, no cap, I want to have that versatility under my belt. While also just talking about real things, like real stuff that's happening in the world and sharing light on that because I'm also into like conspiracy theories, which we all know, but I like talking about those things. 
and just having intellectual conversations and i want to feel like i'm able to come here and do that and for the people who support me and like this channel for that then thank you and let's get on the ride but for those who just want brainless content and just want the same thing and just want the 24-hour glow up and while by all means i'll be having my moments but i'll post stuff like that and i'll show you my routines and i'll show you this and i'll do the vlogs i enjoy the vlogs but i enjoy the vlogs because those are like real life like memories like they're diaries i've always said it this is like diaries for myself and being able to always go back and watch myself at a certain point in life is important to me i'm making these memories right now i'm in the new chapter of like motherhood and that's going great i love it so much and i'm really just enjoying the process obviously because i have not been posting i'm also gonna put myself out there more because i did i guess i have put a lot of restrictions around myself for very deep reasons but i'm also deciding to play the game and that's all i can say about that i miss the contacts i miss the teeth i miss the prosthetics i miss the blood i miss the glitter i miss everything you know i miss the transitions i miss tiktok i want to take tiktok seriously again um my channel's doing really well definitely could be better so i always say comment like literally comments help because they tell me tell me what's up like i don't care I, constrictive criticism put me on don't be having me out here looking crazy like we're supposed to be like this am my comedians like what's the word so i've been prioritizing my hair a lot i haven't i didn't wash my hair for like a full month full disclosure i did not wash my hair for a full month like my hair doesn't really get dirty or smelly like that like it doesn't and it doesn't really get a lot of dandruff like obviously i'm gonna have dandruff but not that bad just recently washed my hair because my 40 days were up and i do want to make a video talking about like my postpartum quarantine experience type shit the things i will do and not do next time you know things i learned be forgetting like i live in new york like i'm literally in living in the city of dreams where dreams are made of the hustle everything like is here and like i think that people forget that you know they forget that this is one of the toughest cities because respectfully like you really on your own in these streets you on your own and you just gotta make do with what you do and you gotta have that hunger and the people who are hungry are gonna win off rip i'm trying to get some sleep because my baby is sleeping right now and i should be knocked but she messed up my sleep schedule so bad that it's like <laughs> happy new year I hope you guys really take initiative and like really connect with God and connect with yourself first because at the end of the day, life is more than just this. And remember that. It's more than just your fucking screen. Remember who you are. Really tap into that and ride that shit out. Tap into those shadows, tap into those flaws of yours, the things that you want to work on and work on it take it seriously because at the end of the day I kind of don't like saying life is too short because it's really not it is but it's not like it can be short if it's cut short I believe but life is very long I've been thinking about that a lot like I be waking up every day and I be like we be forgetting that there's still so much more to life. Like, years. And I'm also coping with just the concept of death. So that's another thing. But we're going to talk about that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think I'm going to just prioritize talking to you guys this year. I'm at the hospital. I've been here since last night. I'm so exhausted. There's just a lot going on right now. But you know, we got very strong faith over here, so.
It's 7 a.m. I know I look like I got hit by a car. I'm getting my cold bladder removed. It's a lot. And I'm just. My breath smells like death. A few moments later, currently outside running errands. <laughs> by myself and I was just thinking wow 2024 you are going to be a very interesting year yes you are yes you are but I'm really out here with my platform crocs because that's my excuse for heels because I'm really that girl platform crocs my man's um yeah TMNT Pajamas and his coat. Cause I got a red puffer. Cause you know the vibes. So yeah. That's my life though.